Merry Christmas and welcome back to a new episode of Unsung Hero. This week's hero is going to be Jorbe Vertesse, Belgian, plays in the Eredivisie, pays for days. The rest of his stats aren't too bad, but aren't that special. Speed Dribbler is only for AI. This is a team that I build around them. A bit of Belgian teammates. I packed De Bruyne, which uh, of course means that I'm going to use him. The rest of the team pretty damn normal. Let's get into some Weekend League. My first opponent is using this team. That's a pretty original team. Nothing uh, you see that often. Game starts of pretty damn good. De Bruyne sends Vertesse through on goal. I try to chip him, doesn't work. Rebound perfectly for him and he makes it 1-0. That's his second minute debut goal. Pretty damn good. And then Vertesse is going to show his amazing tackers. Only has 3 star skill moves but look at this. Pretty smooth. Then past Mondi and he can't finish because that's a very tight angle but the dribbling is awesome. Again. He just dribbles everyone into destruction. Man, Mondi tries to tackle him, doesn't really work. Great pass to Openda who makes it 2-0. 2-0 in the first half, pretty, pretty good stuff for me. But then the second half, I was creating chances but nothing too big. And then he scores a pretty good goal with Benzema, a typical Benzema goal. Cutting inside and hitting that finesse shot. He did it, uh, I think, last week uh, in real life, so uh, pretty normal. So the game ends 2-1. Pretty boring second half to be honest. Uh, I deserved the win, but I wasn't creating any big chances. Vertesse got a goal and assist, so he's man of the match. But let's see what he can do in the second game. Second opponent has a pretty bad team for this time in FIFA. A lot of normal cards, which you don't really see that often anymore. But I'm using a silver right mid as a right back, so I'm not really one to talk. Kamavinga finds Vertesse. I'm not gonna pass him, I'm gonna just, just gonna shoot it. He makes it 1-0. I mean, I don't know how he does it, but he's always able to hit shots like this. We just keep on going. Vertesse finds KDB to Openda, to Vinicius Jr. KDB makes a great run, gets the ball back. I thought he was going to quit here because he pressed pause. But he doesn't quit, but then uh, I'm going to make him quit. Vertesse to Nainggolan. Pretty great shot from Raja. And then it's 3-0 and then my opponent decides that he had enough. He leaves the game. So a uh, pretty short game, uh, Vertesse got a goal and assist again, but uh, let's play the third game. Third opponent again has a very cool looking team, I don't play Serie A teams that often, but uh, the game starts off like every other game. Vertesse gets the ball on the flank and I don't pass, I just shoot. He's just deadly at shooting uh, at angles like this. So 1-0 up, good start again from the game. We just keep on going, Vertesse to KDB, to Openda and the Belgian Mbappe, he's not gonna miss that. He makes it 2-0 and then I started wasting a lot of chances. My opponent was uh, getting into the game, great pass to Ossiman, who makes it 2-1. But I was wasting a lot of opportunities like this. Uh, I rush the shot with Vertesse, which makes it a horrible shot instead of a, a probably a goal. And then you notice what happens. La last seconds of normal time, he makes a 2-2 with Arnautovic. Okay, that's very bad, but then it gets even worse in extra time. Mane, great dribble and even better shot, makes it 2-3. So you think, well, that's game over for you. But we keep on fighting, we keep on playing our game that's passing the ball around. Van Ginkel tries to reach Graham, who I stopped on, just like Van Ginkel. Castro Montes gets the ball to Berghuis, to Graham, and then KDB is there. The savior of a nation makes it 3-3, so we go into penalties and I'm really bad at taking penalties. You've seen me miss a lot of penalties in this series. First penalty I'm going to take with Marco van Ginkel. Ball doesn't fly in, great save from his keeper, also a very bad penalty. Arnautovic, great save from Courtois, again a very bad penalty. So Berghuis, can he make it? Can he make it? Yes he does. So we're 1-0 up in penalties. Penalty for him and Courtois says it again so two misses for him I'm leading KDB the hero of a nation makes his penalty of course he does he's ice cold in front of goal Vidal makes it so now everyone's making their penalties which makes it even more intense Graham misses his penalty also that was still not a good penalty Kulukevsky makes his penalty so we're 2-2 uh, so I need to make this one or otherwise he can win the game. David Alaba, cold as ice, makes it and then it gets tense. Courtois saves it. So we managed to win the game. 
Courtois is the hero by saving three penalties in a penalty shootout. That's pretty, pretty good stuff. So, uh, in conclusion, what can I say about Jorbe Vertessen? He's very good and very fast. Problem is that uh, EA also released a uh, winter wildcard, Luke Pacquio, who's also a very, very good card and not that expensive. So you could probably, if you're running a Belgian team, just get Luke Pacquio, who's, uh, I think, a bit better. But if you're just running a fun uh, Belgian side or a Eredivisie side, definitely get him in your team. Uh, he's actually usable. So uh, yes, I would uh, definitely recommend getting him. But that's going to go for this video. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.